and our weather watchers have done a great job of documenting the beauty. They always do. Let's check in with them right now, show you those photos. My favorite, this one here from Charlie Hoffman. Let's show it to you. Oh, well, it looks like it disappeared for some bizarre reason. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll just go to Santa Claus because, hey, he delivered his toys right on time this morning, didn't he? So, hope you all enjoyed a very beautiful Christmas Day. It's the second night of Hanukkah. Hope it's wonderful. And tomorrow's Kwanzaa. So, we have a lot to discuss with regard to the forecast because I know many will be traveling. Here's a look at what you can expect going forward. If you're going to be out and about tonight, no, it is going to be clear and cold overnight. Damp weather in store tomorrow. In fact, some slick spots expected early in the day. Maybe a little bit of freezing rain or freezing drizzle. And then Tuesday is looking mild with temperatures into the mid 50s. Today, many of us in the upper 40s and low 50s. Let's take a look at where exactly those high temperatures topped out today. Most of us, again, upper 40s, low 50s. In JFK, well, it was 52 degrees. LaGuardia topped out at 51. Central Park, 50. Normal high today is 40. So we were about 10 degrees above the norm, but it certainly wasn't a record setter. Last year it was the warmest at 66 degrees. Do you remember that day? The rainiest was back in 1945 with about one and a quarter inches. The coldest sub zero by one degree. That was back in 1980, and the snowiest was seven inches back in 1909. So we were, you know, having a beautiful day here. Tomorrow morning, some concerns north and west of the city, all areas indicating in purple from about 6 a.m. till 4 in the afternoon. Reason being, temperatures will be below freezing at the surface, so any wet weather that falls could stick to those surfaces as ice. Please be cautious on the roadways. Anything that falls well north and west of the city tomorrow will likely freeze on contact. In the meantime, before that wet weather arrives, we've got high pressure in play. So most of the conditions tonight looking fantastic. Early tomorrow morning, this warm front lifts on through. That is when we have that concern for freezing drizzle north and west. Then overnight Monday into Tuesday, the cold front rolls on through, and with that, another round of wet weather. Tomorrow, generally speaking, looking cloudy with some showers in play overnight, looking good as temperatures drop off. Tomorrow morning, increasing clouds, maybe some freezing drizzle, again, mainly north and west with showers possible throughout the day, especially as we get into the overnight hours. Your Tuesday morning drive could be a soggy one, but skies are clearing by afternoon, and again, temperatures will be in the 50s then. All right, let's look now at your extended forecast. Tonight, we bottom out at 30. Tomorrow, it is 46 degrees. That happens in the afternoon, folks. So, again, very cold with possibly dangerous driving conditions early. Overnight, Monday to Tuesday, another round of wet weather and a high of 54 on Tuesday with afternoon clearing and breezy conditions. Wednesday, it's 42. That's nearly normal with sunshine. Our next chance of wet weather arrives on Thursday. And then we're talking about seasonably chilly as we head into the end of next week. Thank you so much, Vanessa.